Hello everyone and welcome to <clears throat> Snookus Plays Europa Universalis 4 American Independence, although that's quite redundant now that we are independent. So today we're gonna continue our, on our conquest streak across America, just gaining land by the by the handful. Hopefully, uh, maybe, you know, taking all of North America this time wouldn't, wouldn't be totally un in, uninteresting. Anyway, here we go. Uh, next target should be like, oh, well, Cherokee and Shiksa. Sounds nice. You are only, only allied with each other, so that's the, like a match made in heaven, really, isn't it? Uh, okay, lots of things happened. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Mario. Here we go. Should have put position my army better there, but you know, can't um, can't win in all. Ah, you know, I really don't like when you <clears throat> when you consolidate like that. Not like not because it's a problem, because I like my enemies separated and easy to kill. I am. Um, I have a feeling the rest of this uh, campaign might become a bit of a bore. I'm gonna try to liven it up where I can, but um, just simply because uh, I'm just gonna send out my navy here. Uh, simply because, um, well, we're not gonna have meet much resistance, are we? I mean, we might discover that England wants to war with us again. I doubt it. Um, there's no reason for us to actually tack up our military, is it? It's not like the Native Americans are gonna put up much of a fight. Uh, let's clear out these guys and move to like... Ah, oh, not what I meant to do. Um, and I mean, we should try to take Texas and um, a bit down towards Me Mexico and then we're gonna want to take California if, if we have the time. Um, yay, um, an aspect. Let's go with manpower cover speed. Feel like we, uh, we need it. So these guys wanna peace out, that's not gonna happen. Okay, Bible translated. Seems a bit late, but you know, apparently no one in the United States have read the Bible in English. Everyone is Latin, Latin speaking. Although Puritans as they were, I suppose that wouldn't be entirely surprising. Oh no, no we can't do this. The Papal State's gonna hate us. Can't do with that now, can we? Um, yeah, my bar, please. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm gonna split time out my army now. Because there's no reason to keep them together and um, ineffectively. In ineffectively? And conquer and siege down all of these provinces. Yasu. At least that's interesting, seeing all of these uh, cool Native American uh, province names. Except Miami. You know. Because Miami. Um, is there any colonial chance for us anywhere? I mean, we could try to get Cuba to... Uh, <laughs> to... Um, Declare independence and uh, you know, like historically meddling. But otherwise, other than that, I mean, we could try to get down here, which is not a chance, or um, over here and gain some like trade power up to uh, Chispeak Bay. Sure, Ivory Coast is free and it doesn't have any boost of any kind, but you know, it's free so. 
we're, we're, we are also almost done with our mission. We actually gain prestige yearly, which is interesting. I kind of want to check out Prussia. Hopefully that's fine with you. Oh, cool. I like it. Go on, Prussia. They have, do they have a new flag? I feel like... No, oh, right, I have a mod. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Don't mind me. Uh, let's take everything you got. Thanks. The new river. I mean, if you think this looks weird, you shouldn't see the old river, which is probably some. Do you think it's like a little village over in Britain that's called River, and then the colonists just came over and this is New River? That's my way of viewing history in a way. Fuck you, separatists. I don't like you. What are you doing, Luciana? Like, seriously. Didn't mean to do that. Could we maybe... Yeah, we're gonna go down here and mess with even more natives. Because what's, what's more fun than that? Uh, colonized Karu. Karu. That's the um, province we checked out in the first episode that ran for almost 40 minutes. And a colonist. Alright, that's something to um, stop that. That's fine. Still still ivory trade ivory coast trade node, so um, that's good enough. Oh, right. Rivals. We actually can have rivals. You're allied to no one. That's good enough for me. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that wasn't hard. We're gonna be done with this, wo this war in a heartbeat. So that's nice. Unless, of course, yeah, let's just move these guys down here. Yep, sure, I pay a loan. We have uh, six loans left. We're uh, actually working on it. We're gaining some money every month. Of course, now we're getting a lot from um, pillaging and stuff. Looting. Um. Okay, Louis, Louis the sixteenth um, is looking to attack Britain. Not something I, I'm gonna protest with exactly. Who are you? When did you fire? Don't remember seeing anything about this. Might be forgetting, but don't think so. Okay, here we go. More land for the land machine. Nice. That's how you do it. I mean, look at, at all these promises we aren't coring. And uh, we aren't even above 50% over extension. It's amazing. Although... Do I really have to tell you? I feel it's quite obvious that America is the most amazing country on Earth. 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 Wh which character is it that says Earth? I remember it, but I can't remember where it's from. No matter. No matter, I guess. Um, yeah. France war with Great Britain. Unfortunately, we have a choose, so we can't... For another two years, we can't uh, take Newfoundland. Even though we would like to. 
Although we could instead keep them supporting panels. How much do you have? 25? 35? Not nearly enough, actually. Actually. So let's skip that and let's go over to Chicksaw and uh, try to pick up some Chicksaws. Yeah. Here we go. Chicksaw. Over a freaking mountain. That's the one we're missionary in, converting and stuff a goose. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Yeah, no, thanks. I'm good, thanks. Look how much we've blobbed in, blobbed in just a few years. It's um, quite a spectacle. And let's tell you to generally fuck off, thank you. It's unfortunate that only Spain can be our rival, not really country we can um, afford to attack at the moment. You know what, let's send you guys up here. This is the capital, so yeah, let's go there and let's send you guys with this loser George Washington up to uh, Huron. Huron. Oh, came, so Abigail Adams. If you haven't seen the HBO series John Adams, you really should. Um, it's quite interesting and a nice look at John Adams. Uh, quite uh, an interesting man during the time and his wife as well. Anyway, the first second lady and the second first lady, Abigail Adams, is the wife of John Adams, the first vice president and the second president of the United States. She is an erudite lady with an open mind and a great intellect whose husband often seeks her advice on political matters and government. Political opponents refers to her as Mrs. President, as she is very politically active, especially about women's rights and slaves' rights, even though it doesn't say here. Uh, there is a letter from her to John Adams that says, Remember the ladies, and be more generous and favorable to them than your ancestors. Do not put such unlimited power into the hands of the husbands. Remember all the men would be tyrants if they could. If, if particular care and attention is not paid to the ladies, we are determined to form, to form a rebellion and will not hold ourselves bound by any laws in which we have no voice or representation. Yeah, ironic that, isn't it? War over the, a war over taxes without representation, and then you have females and, uh, and slaves and, and guys in general. Poor people not being able to vote, but still being taxed. Anyway, uh, she, adv she advocates for married women's, women's rights Property rights believes that women should not be content with only being companions for their husbands and that they should not submit to laws made in their interest and that women should be women should be educated. Marke is quite of a um, feminist uh, breeding ground actually. Both um, Ele Eleanor Roosevelt and Abigail Adams and a bunch of other people of course um, came from America and became quite uh, cult culturally significant and historically significant which is um, I think is quite interesting. Anyway, she is already an advisor to John Adams, should we take her anyway? Or, yeah, we should have taken her anyway. You know what? Yeah. Shh. Yeah, let's um, <clears throat> make her be a glorified lobbyist, because that's the way you treat people that you respect. Okay, here we go. Huron, you're not, you have not seen nothing yet. Here comes our almost total artillery armory. I'm gonna smoosh all of you infantry, non underdeveloped army. <clears throat> the Siege of Vinandot and other stuff. You are allied to no one. Here we go then. You can only blame yourself. You could always pull yourself up by the bootstraps. You know that. You were just too lazy. Oh, already over. With that, all the resistance you can put up, put up with. Really? Well, you know what to say about 
I don't know. People from here on. Evacuation day. <laughs> Sounds like a freaking holiday. Um, evacuation day. The British troops in New York, the last vestige of British authority in the United States, departed Manhattan on November 25th. The Continental Army led by George Washington. Nope. By Benedict Arnold. And he wasn't a traitor. Uh, marched triumphantly through the city. And the last shot of the war was shot by a British gunner firing a cannon at the hearing crowds gathered on the shore of Staten Island. The shot fell short of the shore and the people shouted in triumph. That's a dick freaking move, British gunner. And change your name. British gunner is a stupid name. Um... Yay! A bunch of places is our core. Yay! Okay, here we here we go. A f total, um, a fully artillery army and a almost fully artillery army. You know, guys, I think we revolutionized not only the country but also the way to wage war. Just look at this battle. You're gonna be amazed. Let's slow it down so we can look carefully. It's gonna take a while. Come on. Dizzy. I hope you didn't blink because then you were, then you missed it. We defeat an whole army with only artillery. It's amazing. We're we're magicians now, boys. Yeah. Um. Sorry if I'm <laughs> annoying you. As you might see, I'm um. A bit bored with no challenge over here, which is quite easy for me to say now that uh, we won that war, which I screwed up otherwise quite significantly. And yeah, I'm ignoring this rebellion until we've done away with this war. We don't have enough manpower to actually hire any more duties, any more regiments. Okay, here we go. Shay's Rebellion. The post-war economic depression brought about financial difficulties, a credit squeeze caused by a lack of hard currency and fiscally harsh government policies to solve the state debt problem. Many war veterans had protest protested against this and shut down the county courts to stop the judicial hearings. Yes, to stop the judicial fish from tax and debt collection. The farmers have no hard currency to pay for go goods and the merchants have refused to extend lines of credit to them which has led to some losing their land and other possessions when they are unable to fulfill their debt and tax obligation. This has led to strong resentment against tax collectors and the courts, where creditors obtain and enforce judgment against debtors, uh, and where tax collectors obtain judgments authorizing property seizures. A militia has been raised as a private army to begin organizing an armed force, amending the Articles of Confederation with East the pressure on these farmers and give them some means to protect themselves. We do not engage with rebels or we give them articles. Let's give them articles, yes? Yes. Okay. The Articles Rebellion has been uh, shut down forever. They did not have enough paper. Although now that I think about it, maybe the articles were written on cotton, like the American bill. You know, bills, like money. Anyway, um, the 13 colonies. I thought we were the 13 colonies. Freaking wannabes. Oh, and uh, now the game is bugged out. Fair enough. I was gonna end it here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you like well my videos like this one. And uh, please consider subscribing. It... Um, it would be great to have you along. Yeah, hopefully see you next time when we will uh, actually have to fight a big nation like New Spain or Newfoundland since we have no Native Americans left to expand into. That should be interesting. See you next time. Bye guys.